Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create an evil spirit or evil ghost effect in Audacity. It's going to be a nice, quick, and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know. I'm going to give you a quick example of what you can expect. You, traveler, you have stumbled across my deathbed. You have made a grave mistake coming to this area. Grave is upon me because that's what I'm about to put you in. <laughs> So before we jump into anything, I'm going to show you what the sound sounds like before we actually put any effects on it. So let's just take a quick sample of what that is. You, traveler, you have stumbled across my deathbed. You have made a grave mistake coming to this area. Grave is upon me because that's what I'm about to put you in. Ha 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 ha. So it's just a nice, quick and stupid kind of audio effect. But once we make it sound evil and add all of our effects, it's going to sound really cool. So the first thing I want to do is duplicate this track. To add a new track, we're going to be coming up to tracks on the top. Click add new and then add a new stereo track. We're going to be duplicating our first track by clicking the box on the left, clicking control and C. And then we're going to be down here selecting the box on the bottom and clicking control and V to paste. So our next step is to add a reverb to the top section of this track. To do this, we want to select the box on the top to select the whole track on the top. We're going to be coming to effect and then we're going to be going to reverb. Now in this case, I'm not going to be doing the reverb individual parameters. I'm just going to be using one of the presets in Audacity. But if you want to play around with some of these reverb settings to get a really defined effect, you can simply come down to manage come to presets and we're going to be selecting church hall because I think a church hall is a good fit for this one. Click OK and we're going to be having this nice reverb effect here. If we mute our track on the bottom just to listen to how this sounds. You travel. You stumble across my deathbed. So as you can tell it instantly sounds that like nice echoey like wide room. Now if we unmute our track on the bottom and give it a quick sample we can see how it sounds with that. You travel. You stumble across my deathbed. It already sounds way more intense and way more intimidating, but we want to do a couple little more things. We're going to be adding a small reverb to the bottom track by selecting the whole track, coming to effect, selecting reverb, coming down to our presets again, but this time we're going to be adding a small bathroom preset to this, just so it's not as intense or as big a, a wider room. Click OK, and we're going to be giving this a quick example. You, traveler, you have stumbled across my... By doing this, we just add a bit more depth and feel to the actual sound and effect. Now that we have this, the ghost effect sounds cool, but it just sounds a bit too flat. It doesn't sound intense enough. What we're going to be doing next is highlighting both tracks by selecting the bottom track, then holding shift, coming up to the top and click the box on the left to highlight both tracks. So from doing this, we're going to be able to affect both tracks at the same time. What we're going to do now is come up to effect and we're going to be adding a change pitch. Now our goal here is to remove some of our pitch percentage by using this slider down here at the bottom. And we're going to play around with this. I'm going to try minus 18, just give it a quick preview. You, traveler. You have stumbled across my deathbed. You have made a grave mistake. Okay, it sounds good. I think I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. I want it a bit deeper. You, traveler, you have stumbled across my deathbed. You have made a grave mistake. I think that's somewhere around where I'm going for. I'm going to click OK on this to have our effect to be applied. And I'm pretty happy with how this sounds so far. I want to do one more thing. I want to add a small echo or delay to our actual top effect to extend it a little bit because I want it to be a little bit slower to our actual track. To do this, simply select the top track one more time, come to effect, and we're going to be adding a small echo. We're going to leave the actual default settings for this. Click OK, and now we're going to be playing the track over. You, traveler, you have stumbled across my deathbed. You have made a grave mistake coming to this area. Grave is upon me because that's what I'm about to put you in. <laughs> And you can tell that sounds absolutely great, especially the evil laugh at the end. It's really deep, it's really rich, but it adds that like nice vibrant sound. Now, I would recommend when recording audio for this, I'd recommend keeping it kind of slow, keeping it flowy, and make sure it sounds and feels and flows clean when you're recording it, because it can really make the difference when you're actually going back and editing this after. But other than that, it's really easy to add this like nice ghost ghoul kind of spirit effect and audacity, and it sounds really, really cool. As we're coming up to Halloween, I kind of felt inspired to create some more cool voice effects. If you want to see some more, Audacity tutorials, I'll leave a link in the top of the description down below. I've done a bunch of other cool voice effects in Audacity, and this is just one more to add to the list. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this story, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. If you want to support me, I'm going to leave a link down below to my PayPal. Of course, there's no pressure if you can't. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.